hello welcome back to my channel so today um it's another skincare video with me um as some of you know i'm a mom of two boys and i love to share kids skincare videos be it for adult or for kids and especially for my kids because sometimes we go through situations that we are so frustrated we just need if someone can tell us what to do to help us like to save us the stress so yeah so today's video i'm going to be sharing, telling you guys how to treat baby lice on your son's hair or on your daughter's hair on your baby's hair in general within maximum 10 to 15 minutes maximum and the lice is gone like it's gone for go uh, my son started daycare when he was three months and i um um I think almost six weeks or eight weeks later I realized that he had lies in his hair how did I know that he had lies in his hair and I just want to quickly say this that um what i'm sharing here is what worked for me and what did not work for me it might be the same for you or it might be the reverse you she can help somebody out there so first how did i notice that my son had lies in his hair i have this habit of always checking his hair like as if i'm looking for my money that i kept there so i'm always opening his hair to check his scalp i have that habit most times when i'm breastfeeding him or when i'm just carrying him, i like to that do that because he has thick beautiful black curly hair like the curls are so so tight that i don't know sometimes i'm just going through there looking for something i don't know but i'm always just playing with his hair opening his hair and scalp and stuff to do to check so on this day i was breastfeeding him and i was doing my normal check routine in his hair and i saw something work now i was like oh my god what is this first i thought it was just one loose insect that got into his hair and then i opened i picked it up went on to a clean uh, and surface area that was flat i placed it and i looked at it and i was like oh my god is this not lies mind you i have my a boy who also has hair like the brother but he's now always on low cut and almost bald because he's going to school but he never had lies as a baby up to now he never like had lies myself i'm keeping low cut like i'm sometimes bald but this is the highest my hair can go so that's just to say that we are a family where we do not grow our hair like that we are always keeping bald kind of hair style so yeah so i got so frustrated i was i started panicking like oh my god what am i going to do i have never had lies myself since i was born up to now but then i have seen people who had lies but i didn't know how bad it is either it is dangerous is it something that can harm you or something like so i didn't know i panicked um my son then he was um i think almost five months or five months i think yeah he was five months i think when i discovered the thing in his head and so i was like okay this baby is so small the solution i knew then was for adult the solution i knew back in africa was for adult i cannot use that on my on my on my son because he's so small and it's kind of poisonous what if it mistakenly gets into his eyes or into his mouth so fortunately for me that day he had an appointment with his doctor so after we we go we went for his, one week later we went for his appointment Mind you, before his appointment, I kept checking his hair. The first day, I picked just one. The second day, I didn't see anything. And the third time when I had to search his hair, I picked two. So the number kept increasing. I was like, oh my God. He means this thing is really in his hair. It's not a mistake. So when we went to the doctor, I complained to the doctor. And the doctor said, no, I don't have to panic. It's okay. Kids always have that, especially if they go to the daycare or they go to school. Maybe it's my toddler. I said, no, it's not my toddler. My toddler does not have hair. So I came, my, my, my doctor told me not to panic, but if I want to do something, I can go to the pharmacy and ask. They have um, over the counter product that they can give me to use for him. So I came back home. I didn't go to the pharmacy that day. I came back home. I went on Google. Google is your friend. So I Google and how to treat lies on babies. And most of the pictures or most of the things I saw were talking about will apply more on a white baby because white people they have sleek soft hair so most of the solutions i saw apply will apply to them the first solution i saw was to use a shampoo that they recommended and another lice product like that and also a lice and a neat comb which is a small metal comb i'm going to insert the picture and when i looked at them I'm like oh my god this cannot work for my child because one my child is black he has beautiful curly afro hair there's no way this comb is going to go through his hair and comb out because this comb is that you have to apply the shampoo in his hair let it stay for some time and then use this comb and comb from the root 
to the the, the 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 tips of the hair that way you are combing out all the lies or some of the lies underneath he says it can take out 90 percent of the lies but when i look at my baby he's just five months old and his hair is so curly there's no way that comb is going to go through his hair so i just knew automatically this comb will not work for me but i'm like okay let me just try the shampoo and see maybe he can kill it so i came back now the next the next day i went to the pharmacy and the pharmacist gave me a shampoo to use that i should use it every time i want to give him his bath and stuff like that and i was bathing my kids twice a day i bathe him in the morning i bathe him in the evening so every time i want to bathe him i use the shampoo on his hair i put it there and then i use one of his cap and i, <laughs> I wear on his head so but it didn't work it didn't like i noticed after i used that some shampoo for one week why i was using the shampoo i kept searching in his hair to see if i can see sea lights i didn't see the second week i saw lights and i was like this thing is not working i went back this after the second week i went back to the pharmacy i said i keep seeing the need in my son's hair and lights um and then he said it's gonna take time i should just keep using i'm like oh my god so after using that product for almost over three weeks i didn't see much of a change because when i kept searching my baby's hair sometimes i would see two lights another time i would see three another time i will not see at all but i will see the need the need is like the egg you know so i would kill it because like i'm like if i don't squish i know this is gross but yeah i would just press it like this in between my my thumbnails i'll just press it just to kill it. i know if i don't kill it the next moment the next day is going to grow maybe into a life or two days later you know so long story short it didn't work for me so all these things it didn't work for me like the shampoo didn't work and the comb also could not work for me because like i said my baby had beautiful he has beautiful afro curly hair and i said i'm not but there's just one solution to this thing that is going to kill it in no time in a split of a second which is to shave your baby's hair that is the best solution ever if you if you have an african baby that has thick curly hair that you know you cannot easily comb it which means that lies comb will not work for you and maybe the shampoo also will not work for you because the baby's hair is just so thick shaved his hair bought myself at home yes i didn't pay for it but you can also take the baby to a barber to shave off his hair so i shaved it at home So that's the easiest solution to solve your baby. If your baby has a lice issue, just wait. If your baby is like five months, six months, seven months, then just take your time and just shave up the baby's hair. Then after that, I took him to the bath and I nicely shampoo. I use shampoo, his regular baby shampoo on his hair and a baby friendly head brush. And I scrub his scalp, just gently scrub the scalp so that if, so that if there is any lies or any baby lies there that is still growing it should just to take away everything that is on the scalp so i nicely washed his hair with a shampoo and the brush cropped it nicely and then the brush when i was done with the brush i put the brush in a con in a plastic container and i opened hot water and i let the brush to stay there for the whole period when the water was hot so that way if there is any lies in it is going to to die and yeah so that is how i solve my baby's life issue child and i think it's the easiest solution ever So if your child has had lies before and you solved that problem, please let us know in the comment section below how you did it. And also be specific, tell us if your child had afro curly hair or your, a straight silky hair. So feel free to leave us your thoughts in the comment section below so me and every other mother reading you can learn from me. So until then, I'm going to see you guys in my next video. Stay blessed and have a wonderful week. Bye. Thank you.